All right, folks, Anthony here, Hawkeye Traders. Welcome to the video. We are going to take a look at corn futures in this video. We're going to take a peek, kind of see how we can use volume and price action to give us an onset to ultimately what's happening next. Now, here at Hawkeye, we have coined these two terms, one being a red top and the other being a green bottom. Well, listen, I want you to take in perspective that when we have one or the other transpire, we want to respect the wick above and below them very specifically to see if price is going to violate that. And as you can see in this image here, you are looking at corn futures. This is a three minute rotation or a three minute chart. Each candle represents three minutes of price action. You could see at 9.30, uh, Eastern Standard Time, the U.S. Open, that we had a super big volatile candle come in and place this very massive wick with this very ultra-high selling volume. What does that tell me? Well, the candle closed probably in the bottom 10 or 15 percent. So that tells me there was a lot of selling pressure. What would that elude me to believe? It would elude me to believe that if price were to return into that wick, that it would likely also incur some form of selling pressure, just like this candle specifically did, right? Now, what am I looking for for confirmation? I'm looking for a close below this candle, which happens right here, okay? Notice we close below it, we retest it, and we ultimately sell off. What was the onset to all of this? The onset to all of this was the ultra high selling volume on the open, plotting a red top style candle, including being a wide bar because of how large the candle is it itself, and closing in the bottom 10 to 15% of the overall candle length. Right? That tells me this area should now be considered as an area of supply or an area of resistance. And you can see it was t tested here twice, and it wasn't until we finally closed below this bar itself, right here at 10 a.m., we retested it at 10.03, and we had this really, really great sell-off. Now, you could approach this from two different ways, depending on your style of trading. You could try to get short inside this box, right, inside the wick, and try to ride price down, okay? So you had the chance to ride it down about 28 ticks, roughly, if you were inside the box. Okay, if you took your short there. If you waited, if you're a breakdown or breakout confirmation trader, and you waited for a close below, you got short there, and you still got yourself about 20 ticks. So, all right, little, little bit of difference. Um, it really depends on what your personal approach is. Right? If I, if I feel very confident that this wick is gonna provide resistance based on the way it plotted and with that amount of selling volume, I'm probably looking to get short inside the box because if I feel confident enough that this is going to push price lower, I wanna get short as close as this high as possible because I gotta rest my stop on top of this. So I could be risking a very small amount to be potentially making a very large amount. Now, if I get short here, what do I want to do? I really just want to use the candle that closed below, right? If I'm going to get short on the retest or the settlement below, I really just want to cover my stop here. Now, you could be a little more liberal with it and put it all the way up here. You may not feel as comfortable. So it really comes down to personal preference when it comes to executing the trade plan. My goal is to educate you so that you can take the Hawkeye volume uh, software, apply it to your own chart, and be able to find these opportunities all on your own, right? That's the idea. Objectively, we want to help you be able to say, okay, there's a good chance that corn futures are going to sell off here based on the opening bell candle and the simple fact that we cannot get through the wick. Well, if we break down, we're going to sell off. I want you to have the ability to do this too because it will be a game changer in your trading business. So with that, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you'd like to learn more about accessing these tools, there's links below this video. Please feel free to consume that content. You're welcome to email myself or my concierge team at Hawkeye Traders. I will also put a phone number down there. Um, 
Feel free to like the video, leave a comment, I'll be sure to respond to it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you learned something. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.